In this tip and trick, we're going to have a look at using or creating dynamic clipping planes. And this is going to be done by using our half section command and by uh, floating the initial grounded component in our assembly. So what I'm going to do to start is I'm going to turn on the visibility of my three major planes and I'm going to auto resize them. The next trick or the next step from here is to unground the initial base component. Okay and to then reapply constraints to the three base um, planes so that this component is fully grounded. Okay, and the last one we're just going to apply. Okay, so the component is now fully grounded, and um, what I can do is <clears throat> I now have the ability to move the component in relation to the initial planes. Okay, and I can now create a half section based on the position of the plane running through the middle of the part. Just turn off the visibility of a few of these planes. Right, so if I now go and choose half section and I select my YZ plane, I now have my component running through there at half section. If I suppress the mate to that plane, I can now drag this component up and down and basically I now have a dynamic clipping plane. So I can have a look at every component going through there. You'll notice that my shaft generator components are not sectioned because they're seen as standard more standard um, components. So it's quite a useful tool for looking at drillings and seeing that your casings are okay or the interaction that two components have perhaps and very simply done by unfixing the grounded component, um, reapplying mates to the base planes and using the half section and um, that's the basics. Thank you very much for having a look.